Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kyra, and here on my channel, we are all about real makeup for real life and real people. We like to have fun with our makeup around here, and we're all here to learn together, so let's get into today's video. So today's video is a collaboration with my girl Angela over at Beauty and Life with Angela. She is formerly Beauty by Angela. So if you were subscribed to her over there, please make sure you go and subscribe to her new channel. And what we're doing today is a three looks one palette with the ColourPop Off Melrose palette. I'm excited for this. I haven't, I don't know that I've ever done a three looks as a collaboration, but both Angela and I were really excited about this palette when it came out. And so we decided that we would not only do a full face of ColourPop, but we're doing this three looks one palette today with this gorgeous palette. So with all that said, we better get into these three looks because I like to chat and I have some thoughts for you. At the end. Welcome to the first look with the ColourPop Off Melrose palette. The first shade I'm going to go into today is this one right here called Boutique. I want to go ahead and put that in my transition. This is one of those sequin shades that everybody loves so much from ColourPop, but I do typically find that dipping into the product and then tapping off my brush, I don't tend to get much of the glitter onto the actual eye and therefore no fallout. <laughs> I'm also gonna take this little Real Techniques brush and that same shade and run it on the lower lash line here. Making sure upstairs and downstairs are connected. Uh, I think the next shade I'm gonna go into here is this one called $10 Latte. It also is a sequin shade and it has quite a bit more visible glitter than the shade Boutique, but again, Tapping it off, I tend to find that the glitter just falls off. And I'm gonna take this at an angle on the upper lash line to start. And then as I have less and less product, I will start blending it up toward the crease and into the crease. Again, quite a bit of kick up in that pan, but that is not a deal breaker for me ever. So, but I do always like to make mention, going back into the first shade with the first fluffy brush, we're just going to blend out our deepening shade. Next shade we're going into is brunch, question mark. Picking that up on a flat brush. And I'm gonna apply this from about the middle of the eye well, pretty much just the middle of the eye. I don't want to cover up the deepening shade on the outer part of the lid, and I do want to make sure to leave a little bit of room for the next shade that we're gonna use on the inner part of the lid. That is a really pretty color and it matches my shirt perfectly as I hoped it would. All right, I'm gonna try and pick this up on my phalange and see if we can punch up the shine a little bit. That definitely helped. I did feel a tiny bit of fallout, but I'm sure it will sweep away. All right, and then the last shade we're gonna go into today is this first one in the palette, a beautiful pale gold shade called Angelino. Is that what they call people that live in LA? I didn't need, oh. And I am going to bring this up into my transition area and blend it a little with the transition shade. Okay, I'm 
gonna pop off of here and do some liner and mascara and a lip and I will come back and show you the final look. The hair will be done, all that good stuff. All right, we're back and this is the completed look. I finished off the eyes with my Wet n Wild Brown Liner and my L'Oreal Air Volume Mega Mascara. And for lips, I lined with my Milani Understatement Lip Liner in the shade Nude Entrance. And the gloss is the Bobbi Brown Crushed Oil Infused Gloss in the shade Free Spirit. So overall today, I thought everything looked really well, performed really well. Definitely not seeing any signs of glitter fallout. So tapping off your brush with those sequin shades is going to be key for you. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed today's look and I will see you in the next one. Go ahead and start things off in the crease with this shade right here, which is called Easy Breezy. Beautiful, cover girl. And I'm going to start this out on the outer part of my eye and my crease and transition area. Definitely lots of kick up with this one. And I'm going to do this slowly, but I am going to build this up quite a bit because that shade La Brea down here is pretty dark. So I definitely want to have the crease be able to stand up to that depth. And once I get that deeper green, whatever La Brea shade down here on, I'm gonna want to do the least amount of blending possible. I'm gonna take that same shade on a little smudger brush here and go ahead and run this on the lower lash line. Okay, I'm thinking I need one more matte, and of course I want it to be deep enough. So I'm gonna go into this shade right here, which is called Down to Earth, and Earth is spelled U-R-T-H. I'm gonna just pat this on the very like outer third of the lid, and then once I have less eyeshadow on the brush, I'm gonna just bring it up ever so slightly into the crease sort of define things a little bit before we go into that dark shimmer. And how I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna flip my brush over and just pull it up toward the end of my brow. And that's gonna give me my lift in just the right place. Then I'm gonna go in with this mostly clean, fluffy, and blend. I'm just going to take whatever's left on the brush and use it to connect the upstairs and the downstairs on the lower lash line. So we're gonna dip into, sorry, the packaging's so hard to read, this shade right here called La Brea. And again, I'm gonna try and keep this on about like the outer half of the lid. And I'm not trying to cover up the mat completely, just overlap a little. And I just find that ColourPop shimmers apply so much better with the good old phalange. So that's why I do it that way. And then we're gonna go into this shade right here, which is Take It Again. I don't know what that means. If you ever pick up shadows on your finger and you feel like they look a little chunky or they might have fallout, just blow it off. <laughs> and you can just layer things. That is pretty. Definitely ColourPop's formula can be a little hit or miss. I think, you know, some palettes are definitely better than others, but I really feel like this one has been really nice so far. All right, so what I'm gonna do is pop off of here and apply some liner, mascara, a lip, and then we'll come back and I will wrap up this look in a neat little bow. All right, we are back. This is the completed look. Finished off the eyes with my Pixie Eye Bright Liner in the lower inner rim and the Believe Beauty, what are you called? Long Lasting Eyeliner in the shade Olivia. This is a beautiful olive green. Thanks to my girl Angela over at Beauty and Life with Angela. And for lips, the so ColourPop 
combination that I absolutely adore is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade BFF2 with the ColourPop Just a Tint in the shade Gimme Some More. So what do we think? I really enjoyed today's look. I really enjoyed the shadows that I used. I like a little pop of warmth in with this more grungy green and like goldy green <laughs> um, combination. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of the background. Like I said, we're tweaking, we're driving, we're figuring things out but I'm sure it will be all sorted soon and I will see you in the next. Hey guys, here we are for the last look with the ColourPop Off Melrose palette. I am going to be including some of the shades that I used in my original look with this palette, which was from my Full Face of ColourPop video in collaboration with my girl Angela from Beauty and Life with Angela, and I will have her as well as her video and my video linked down in the description box for you, but it's going to be a different look, I think. So I'm first gonna start off with this mauve shade right here called On The List. A little pretentious, don't we think? And I'm gonna put this in the crease and blend it up into my transition area. The next shade we're gonna go into is this shade right here called Boutique. I'm kind of going to do like a halo eye today. So I'm gonna start by putting this one in the outer corner and inner corner and just kind of prep for the deepest shade that I'm gonna use. I'm going to take that same shade on the lower lash line just to get things started. So that deeper shade that I want to go into is this deep, kind of a cooler brown down here called Down to Earth. And I'm just going to place this on the outer corner of the eye and then the inner corner. I always make sure that inner corner is like lighter though than the outer corner just so we don't close off the eye too much and I will say as suspected this brown this deep brown is blending really nicely over the sort of taupey shade that we put on previously which is definitely what we're looking for let's go back into that original shade on the list And go back into the shade Boutique and blend things out a little bit. And then taking that same brush that we use for the deeper shade, no additional product, and we're gonna run that along about the outer third to half of the lower lash line. All right, full some shimmers. So I first want to go into this shade right here which is Trading Post. It's a very light pinky shade, but then I'm going to layer Fairfax, which is the duochrome that I used in my original look, over the top of it. Now that I have that placed on the eye, I'm gonna take a clean finger and just tap over everything. So here we go with the fun part. Here is Fairfax and I'm gonna use my little index flange. And this shade I'm also going to bring up a little bit into my crease just so that you can kind of see a little bit of this when my eyes are open as well. I'm going to pick this up on a little bit more of a fluffy shader brush and spray it with some Mario Badescu facial spray and just pat this on the lid. Okay, yeah, I think that's a lot better personally. Hopefully you can see the difference. All right, that is every shade in the palette used except for the pressed glitter, which I'm not going to use. It's called Social Club. 
This one, I don't know about other palettes, but this definitely feels like craft glitter and I'm not going to risk getting that in my eyes. So I'm gonna pop off of here, do some liner, mascara, and a lip, and then I will come back and we'll not only talk about the final look, but we will talk about the palette. All right, this is the completed look. I do like the look. Um, finished off with my Wet n Wild Brown Eyeliner, the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions in the shade Bren, which is their rich black shade. And then for lips, I lined with MAC Whirl. And for lipstick, I used the Revlon Melting Glass Shine Lipstick in the shade Gloss, Glossed, Glazed Mauve. So, let's talk about the palette, shall we? The mattes are really, really beautiful. I particularly loved this shade, which is Easy Breezy, and the shimmers were beautiful. I will say I feel like the duochrome is a little bit of a disappointment. Um, you know, I certainly was able to build it up <laughs> A little more on my eyeballs today but you can see this is very very sheer so it's possible that so it that would look nice over like a matte shadow like put easy breezy all over the lid blend it up into the crease and then layer Fairfax over the top of that so you can still see that beautiful terracotta matte coming through under, underneath, but because it, there is a matte shadow underneath, it would accentuate the shine, basically. So I might, you know, have to try that, but this is a beautiful neutral palette. You know, you definitely have some shades that are not brown in here, but it is predominantly neutral. I do really love this shade up here, Trading Post as well as Angelino. This is like my perfect light gold shade that is just beautiful all over the lid. I've done quite a few looks with this besides this three looks and the original look that I created. I've used this multiple times on days where I wasn't filming. So let's talk. So what do I think about this palette? Well, I don't regret buying it whatsoever. I do think it's something that I will reach for. It is a beautiful neutral palette. Um, you know, something like this reminds me of, you know, double entendre from ColourPop, where it's predominantly neutral, but there's definitely a little bit of, you know, a twist and some interest involved. And I like palettes like that. They're very easy to reach for, especially the mattes in here, the tones of the mattes in here are like my favorite tones. I love me sort of a warm taupe, love a terracotta, love a dusty rose, and of course, love these two browns down here. I just, I really like it. I recommend it if you can get past the fact that there's a pressed glitter in here. Um, do I think you need this palette? No. <laughs> If you have any eyeshadow palettes in your collection, you probably have these shades. When I was playing with this, it made me think of another drugstore slash affordable palette that reminds me of this, and it's this one from e.l.f. Of course, you have a lot more selection here, but you kind of have that pop of like a greeny gold in there. You've got some gray, you've got, you know, warm mattes, you've got cool mattes, you've got a dusty rose, the whole thing. I think these two are probably the most similar in terms of comparisons that I can make within my own collection. So if you have the Elf, the new classics, you don't need this one, I don't need this one, but I really wanted it, and I really like the colors and everything in here. 10 out of 10 on the packaging, but I think, you know, if you already have a good amount of neutrals in your collection, you probably don't need this one, and I'm just being honest about that. Do I love the palette? Yes, I think I do. I really, really like it, for sure, and I do recommend it if you're interested in it, so. That is all I have for you today. 
I want to remind you to run on over and watch Angela's video, see what three looks that she came up with using this palette and any thoughts she might have. Thank you so much for spending part of your day here with me today. I really appreciate your time, your comments, your likes, your views, all that good stuff. And with all of that said, I hope all of your makeup days are absolutely beautiful makeup days and I will see you in my next video soon. Bye.